This will be a short one, because again, the Flat Earth claim has no evidence whatsoever. We're going back to rockets again! Here's the cult claim. Rockets can't get past the alleged firmament, therefore they curve in order to fly out to the ocean and crash there, out of the public eye. Shall we do a lesson in rocket science? Okay, so yes, rockets do travel on a curved trajectory. Why? To achieve orbit. Without the use of a roll program, a rocket flying straight up would either fly straight out into space, assuming it had enough fuel to break out of the Earth's gravitational pull, or fall straight back down to Earth once its fuel was depleted. I mean, this is really simple stuff. The goal of the rocket isn't to just fly randomly into space, there's a destination in mind. Almost all rocket launches these days are satellite launches or rockets headed to the ISS, so obviously they're going to roll to achieve orbit and align with their destination. Even if they're headed to Mars, they still need to achieve orbit in order to align itself with the direction of Mars. Then it'll do a kind of slingshot maneuver to leave Earth's orbit and head on to its destination. A lot of flat earthers also like to point out NASA's tendency to switch to simulations while showing launches. They can't comprehend that after a rocket has become a tiny dot when filming from the ground, it makes sense to cut to something more visually stimulating. But in their minds, this is just evidence that NASA is hiding the rocket's true destination, except for the many, many launches that include footage from cameras attached to the rockets and show the entire journey from Earth to space. Not to mention amateur astronomers like the channel Red's Rhetoric, who have filmed entire launches from the pad to the fairing separation through high-powered lenses. So it's close for a second. Second stage ignition. I caught second stage? Yeah. There's the rainbow, nice! For that, they've got no explanation. As for these supposed splashdowns, yeah, a lot of rockets do come tumbling back to Earth. Again, do these guys not understand how a rocket works? There's often a first, second, or even third stage to the rocket made to propel the payload upwards, and those will break off throughout the flight after they run out of fuel and become useless weight. The Saturn V, the rocket that took the Apollo astronauts to the moon, had three separate stages that fell off after they were emptied. So of course, if flat earthers search for evidence of NASA rockets crashing into the ocean, they're going to find them. Empty modules floating in the ocean, the safest place for them. Of course they're crashed into the ocean. Why would they crash it into a suburb? But it proves nothing. The payload is the important part, and there is just so much evidence provided from so many different sources that track the payload's flight into space to doubt it. You don't need to see everything with your own eyes to know it's true. And if it's 400 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, you can't really see it anyway. So there you have it, folks. There is no evidence that rockets do not reach their intended goal of outer space, beyond the Earth's atmosphere, rotating around our big, spherical Earth. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel, which is Lazy Alien. As usual, my name's Kevin, and I'm out.